There is one God the Father He who created all things Through His Son, the one Lord Jesus Christ The sacrifice for death's pain And there is one hope of salvation at the end and there is one faith the one that purifies from sin and there is one baptism the one Jesus died to give by one spirit into one body that lives through the power of the love that flows through the veins of the Father and the Son and through the children every day Good evening once again. I'm Larry Hale, and once again, this is the Bible and Spirit broadcast. I have my son Elisha on here with me as usual. He plays gospel music. He preaches. I preach. We pray sometimes. Um, whatever the Lord wants us to do, whatever we feel moved by the Holy Ghost to do is what we'll do. And it will edify, and it will bless your soul if if the spirit of the living God is what you're following after. And if it's not, it'll convict you. And it can get you where you are following after the spirit of God. And that's pretty important because Romans 8 and 14 says, as many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God uh, and daughters, of course. So that's what it's all about. We want to learn how to be led by God's spirit and that's what this broadcast is all about. That's why it's called By One Spirit. Because by one spirit, we're all baptized into one body. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12 and 13, Ephesians 2 and 18 says that we all have access unto the Father by one spirit. So it's pretty good to be in the body of Christ Amen. and have access unto the Father of Jesus Christ as our Father. Amen. So that, that's what this broadcast is all about, is just to, just to minister the Spirit of the Lord. And I thank the Lord that he, he allows us to do that and sees fit to give us the grace to do that. And we're glad to be on here with you tonight. And we look forward to uh, just being a blessing to you and you being a blessing to us by being ready hearers and receivers of the good things that the Spirit of God wants to put out. And, and we're, we count it a privilege to, to have this time of fellowship with you. So God bless you this evening. I'm gonna let Elisha start us off with whatever's on his mind or song or whatever's going on with him. We'll go from there. Amen. Well, I love that. Amen. Uh, well, I, you know, I'd like to play a song. I'd like to talk about a million different things. I got so much on my mind and my heart, but I think that's kind of what I'd like to talk about is that in God is that God has provided for us. A lot of people, um, they kind of get stumped on this, what does God want me to do today thing? You know, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? Well, what you're supposed to do is to know the love of God toward you through Jesus Christ and to love God back and to abide in that. That's what you're supposed to do. After that, why you've got a you've got an entire, entire range of things you can do that God's going to be in because He's in you. You know, God's not just in one place you go today. He fills all things. He's everywhere. So God's everywhere you're going to go today. He's everywhere where you've been today. And He doesn't have just one thing on His mind today. He wants to interact a thousand different ways in everybody's life that you come into contact with. One thing, He's also everywhere you're not going to go today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, exactly. Uh, but he's, you know, he's got a thousand things that he would love to do in the lives of everybody you look mm -hmm. at. So there's, it, we shouldn't have a mindset of, oh God, where do you want me to go today? We should have a mindset of, thank you God that you're everywhere I go today. Thank you God that you're in me. And then when we have that and we look at people, we're gonna, we, we're gonna have more faith that where we're at, God's already there. Yeah. And so when we have faith, God's already there. We can start beginning having faith to see what He's doing in somebody's life instead of just approaching everything like, well, I don't know where God wants me to be today. So God, you know, we have free will to do multiple goods. You know, we can choose between multiple goods and have a personality and a personality in the spirit. Uh, so that's just something I think people get lost on is 
is you know constantly trying to find out God's plan, mm -hmm. and God's plan. I'll, I'll 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 spoil it all for you. I'll spoil the ending. It's Jesus Christ. Yeah. God's blueprint. It's Jesus Christ. What God wants you to do today. It's Jesus Christ. If you seek first the kingdom of God as righteousness, like we were talking about on the last broadcast, and you you become cemented and baptized into the rock of who Jesus Christ is and of His nature, of His love and His holiness. When you become immersed in that, then everything you do, everything that you come into contact with, you're going to be bringing that. That is God's plan, is Jesus Christ. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And the Lord is that Spirit, Romans 14 and 17, and 2 Corinthians 3 and 17. Is that That's God's plan, is Jesus Christ. And instead of us getting lost on, what we're supposed to do, is this what God's trying to do to my life? That's implying that you don't have free will. That's implying that God... You know, it's going to make you have things happen in your life. He's looking for you to do things. Mm -hmm. He's looking for you to believe Him in you. Amen. Uh, yeah, that's Amen. what was on my mind. Uh, but I've got a lot of other things on my mind too. Hopefully, they're all good things. But <laughs> they are. Yeah. But uh, this is one thing. This is another thing I'd like to just say right before I play this song because I'd like to play a song. Is that in the kingdom of God when people are uh, seeking the Lord, I see a lot of times the scripture quoted, delight thyself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And that's a really awesome scripture. I love that scripture. That's beautiful. That's totally true. And I know it's 100% true. However, whenever I see that quoted, it's almost as if people are saying like, the, the way it kind of comes across is, go to church and you'll get your husband. Yeah. Go to church and you'll get your wife. Like, that's really the way I see it quoted. And hey, that's, you know what? Bravo that somebody is doing that and not going and trying to hunt them down and use all the wrong methods. You know, bravo that you're trying to do it the right way. But I believe what that scripture means is delight, your, make your motivation the Lord, and you'll be, and, and then you'll get the Lord. And bravo doesn't cut the mustard. No, it doesn't. No, of course not. But it's better than you know, cut the mustard another way. Yeah. <laughs> but what the, the way I see that scripture is that delight yourself in the Lord, and He'll give you Himself. Mm -hmm. And when you have himself, you are totally content. That's the peace that passes all understanding. And that what we should be seeking the Lord for is not things where the Lord wants to give you things. He does want to have things for people. But what we should be seeking the Lord for is to be transformed in the image of his son. And that doesn't mean, you know, growing a beard and having long hair. That means in the nature of his son. You know what I mean? It's the, the yeah. nature of his son. The, the desires, the motivations. I know, it's just funny. Yeah. It's the, the, the desires and the motivations of his son and the, the intentions of his heart. And his main desire when he was here on earth was to please his father. Mm -hmm. His main desire was not to, to please us. His main desire was to please his father. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and to be transformed into that, the nature mm -hmm. of what his son was on this earth. Mm -hmm. And what he is still, you know, as a human being glorified with God on top. But, uh, I wanted to play a song that was kind of about that. I kind of went like, you know, 100 miles per hour there. And Sorry, how you doing? Okay. If Benjamin was on here, Rob, we would have already had a, a song and a prayer. And oh, yeah. Words of knowledge. Yeah. That's good. Amen. Free will to do multiple goods. But, but think about that, is that delight yourself in the Lord to have more of Him. And when you have more of Him and you're, 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 what you're desiring is Him, mm -hmm. man, you're going to be so happy with nothing. Yeah, and he'll work other things out. For oh, you. of course. I mean, he does. You can desire other things. Yeah. That are, that, you know, are within the landscape of him. Yes. Being the love of your life, and he will work those things out yeah. for you. Yeah. Of course, but but you see what I'm saying. Yeah. The point I'm making is that yeah. we shouldn't try to just seek the Lord to get stuff. Oh no. no. I mean, if you're going that, if that's your motive. You're not going to get you're, stuff. You're in trouble. Yeah, that's not going to last very long. Yeah, you're going to get the wrong stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you better make sure with all you're getting, you get yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, who is understanding. <laughs> yeah, he is understanding. He is understanding. Amen. <laughs> Bleed this world out of me Until yours is all I see Make my intentions true, my only motivation you To see the wayward with your eyes With love that cuts through their disguise Amen. Grow your wisdom like a tree With fruit for the hungry to eat This is my prayer request 
that my love passes the test of time and trial and tragedy. This is what I ask of thee. Humility like the lamb, boldness like the lions. Oh Lord, light my lamp with your fire that'll brighten the darkness that I face. With your judgment and your grace, for the world to see your love in me, and that you. and the life. Oh Lord, I live to show you're alive. Let me never make my flaws larger to me than your cross. For sin's remission to persist, I must confront where it exists. Like just have to give glory to Amen. God tonight as listening to that song. Um, I've been in Christ and following Him for 33 and a half years now, and that song, I can say, is my testimony. Amen. And everything He was singing there and brought things through my time in the Lord. And I just thank the Lord because that means I'm normal. Uh, it means that maybe I'm maybe I've done what I'm supposed to do. Uh, it doesn't make me special. This should be the testimony of every child Amen. of God that's been in Christ for a good while. There's a lot of things that, that's in the song that's covered there that uh, can't be covered in a very short time. So you know, but when your faith has been tried and has passed the test of time and trial and tragedy and God has carried you just like a footprints uh, writing a poem or whatever it is that, you know where uh, everybody knows what it is the, the person asked the Lord you know when they yeah. saw they saw four footprints of them and the Lord walking together on Amen. the beach and yeah and Amen. And there was a season where they only saw two and they said Lord you know these were these were my hardest times. These were times of great tragedy, tribulation, adversity. Why did I only see two prints, Lord? Why did you leave me in those times? I said, my precious child. I said, I'd never leave you, nor forsake you. I never would. It was during those times that I carried you. <laughs> Doesn't get any better than that. I just thank the Lord for that. Jesus. That truly, thank you, Lord. That is my testimony. He's not only carried me in times of 
tribulation, adversity, and tragedy, and that's all such things. He's carried me in times of, of prosperity and times of success and times of being on the mountaintop. He has carried me there as far as that goes. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, I believe it is, cast all your care on Him, for He cares for you. Amen. I'm not sure it gets any better than that, because when you do that, when you really do that, He's going to take care of your cares. And when the Lord Jesus Christ humbles Himself in His heavenly sanctuary, it takes care of your cares and there's reality and there's power and there's supernatural comfort and strength and upholding and, and, and joy and hope it's a, it's it, it don't get any better than that and i thank the lord because you know that's the way it starts out yeah is that we're in we're, we're we're in sin it's it's beating us down. We've been beaten down by sin. Some of us got beat down more than others. Some of us were more stubborn than others to give in to the love of God that He was trying to show us that He was showing us all along. And we we put our sins on Him. We we cast them on Him because we they're too big for us and they're too much for us. And and when we really give them to Him with all our heart, He whew, He washes us literally. He really literally washes us. John the Baptist said that I baptize you with water under repentance, but he that comes after me is mightier than I, Amen. and the latchet of whose shoes I'm not worthy to stoop Woo! down and unloose. He'll baptize you with the Holy Ghost. You Amen. know, I've been preaching the baptism of the Holy Ghost for, for 33 years, and it's what Jesus lived and died and rose again to establish and to give. But sometimes you just gotta slow down and break it down a little bit and talk about what it really is. I mean, it is it is the uh, the, the the killed and risen again Son of God, the Savior of the world, the High Priest whew, of the New Covenant, the Mediator, the one Mediator between God and man. He stoops down, he bows himself. He washes your soul and spirit with this warm oil that heals and delivers and transforms you into something like Him because you're joined to Him like I was preaching last week. But that's where it begins. Amen. But after that, whether it's if we, if we fall short, then we cast that on Him again. We don't have to sin. He's given us power over sin. He's given us His Holy Spirit. And he said that power, we would receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon us. And that power, my friend, is to turn the tables on the nature of sin we were born with and, and put it under our power and under our subjection where it doesn't, it doesn't live in us anymore. Not only doesn't rule us, doesn't live in us. Keep ourselves purified like he's pure, according to First John 3 and 3. But whatever our cares are, whatever our troubles are, whatever our anything are, uh, we cast it on him and he, he shows us once again that he cares for us and lifts us above it all. David said in the 34th Psalm that this poor man cried unto the Lord. He saved him from all of his fears. Amen. Praise God. I'm telling you. He is the Savior of the world. And it says in Hebrews 7 and 25, seeing that he has a uh, has received a priesthood that is unchangeable, he is able to save them to the uttermost who come unto God by him, seeing that he ever liveth to make intercession for them. What is it you need, my friend? What is it that's troubling Amen. you? What is it that you're afraid of? What is it that's, that's too big for you? What is, it, what is it that is challenging you and overwhelming you? Cast your care upon the Lord, for He truly cares for you, and He will carry you. He will put you over His shoulder. He will carry you, and by that, you will be above it all. He will lift you above it all. Just cast your care on Him, because He really does care Amen. for you. I thank the Lord for that because He is my deliverer. Uh, he's my healer. Is it physical infirmities or, 
maybe an incurable, maybe you've received a death sentence from man. If you've received a death sentence from man on an incurable disease, then I cancel that death Amen. sentence in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus in name. this moment, I cancel it. And I proclaim the life, life. sentence of the Lord in Jesus, Jesus Christ who took the stripes, life. who took the cross so that we could be Amen. healed and delivered to Amen. the uttermost, which translated means completely. Amen. Body, soul, and spirit. Amen. My goodness. Amen. Whatever's troubling you, Whatever spirit is browbeating you, whatever spirit is bullying you, whatever uh, situation or people are tormenting you or whatever's too big for you, in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. of Nazareth, I pronounce and declare an open door. I declare an open door for you to go through, and that door is the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. and His love and care for you. And I decree that you cast your care on Him, and He's going to open up a way where there's no way. He's going to open up the Red Sea before you, and you're going to go through it on dry land, and your feet aren't Amen. even going to get wet. And any of these troubles and any Amen. of these fears Jesus. and any of these tormentors that try to follow you through are going to be drowned. And you're going to see the evidence of them being drowned the next day. Amen. Just like the children of Israel. Now that's, that's right. And that's the truth. Amen. Jesus suffered and died so that we could be fully delivered from sin inside. So that we could be healed of all infirmity. And if we will receive Him and if we will believe Him and if we will, if we will declare His will, if we will confess his will, if we will be in agreement with His will, then we're a partaker of all these things, Amen. and by no means can anything harm us. Jesus said, Behold, I've given you power over serpents and over scorpions and over all, A double L, the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. That's what Jesus said. So, whatever's hurting you, my friend, I implore you this night to turn the tables Amen. on that and Amen. believe the word of the living God who has given you power over it. If you're not baptized by the, by the power and love and holiness of God's spirit, then you can be right now. Anybody that doesn't have the spirit of the living Amen. God in their life, and in their, anybody that doesn't have the love of God permeating from the core of their being, then in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, receive ye the, the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost that comes Jesus from name. the hand of in Jesus, Jesus the only Savior and mediator and deliverer of men. Receive ye the receive. Holy Ghost and be filled with the love and the power Amen. and the holiness of God and take charge of your life and overthrow the works of the enemy, Amen. destroy the works of the enemy in your life. For behold, He has given you power over all of it. Only believe in Him. Cast your care on Him and be in agreement with Him in spirit, mind, word, and deed. And He will Amen. do it. He will bring it to pass. It's His will. Amen. I don't know if Elisha's got another song. It'd have to be a fairly short one or if he's got something else he wants to say. But I'm set up. And uh, <laughs> I just thank the Lord Amen. tonight. I, I'm, just, Amen. I'm just thankful tonight. That's all I can be. That's all it can be. That's all there is. Yeah. Amen. 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 I had other things on my mind that, um, to preach, and but the Holy Ghost had that more, Amen. more. You know, God had that more on His mind, so His Spirit moved me that Amen. way. But, yeah, something. Just the, the whole thing. You know, people approach faith. Approach Jesus with like this conditional mindset. It's like, well, God won't do that. He expects you to do it. Jesus said, All things are possible Amen. to those that believe. Amen. All things are possible. Amen. No matter what it is, if you feel, if there's an addiction or if there's a, a, a sin in your life that you, it's the, you feel like it just, there's no way you'll ever be free from it. Remember, Jesus said, All things are possible. Amen. Only believe in Him. Amen. Is that it seems like, you know, People even have faith for miracles. People have faith for, for power. And, but it, when it comes to relationships or it comes to friendships or it comes to work things, like they feel like there's no hope. 
but all things are possible. And that doesn't just go for physical healing. It goes for spiritual healing. It goes for relationships. It goes for habits, anything. Amen. In fact, they're more than possible. They're absolute if you believe God and agree with Him. Yes. They're they're more than possible. They're they're absolute. Yes. Because the will of God is absolute. Yeah. And I thank Him it's all good. Yeah. Just earlier when I had said that to light yourself in the Lord and He'll give you the desires of your heart, is that when you're filled with the Lord, that's peace that passes understanding. That's riches Amen. untold. Amen. That you're, it, the Bible says, I've never, you know, it's the thing is in the Proverbs, I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor their seed begging bread. Amen. So if you don't have food or if you don't have uh, bread, the problem is not that you need to get that. Get more of Jesus because he'll never be forsaken or your seed will beg bread. Amen. And so God, and, and, and also, you know, again, delighting yourself in the Lord is that Adam, when God created Adam, it was God's idea to give Adam a mate. Mm-hmm. That was God's idea. Yeah. You, God wants that for you. If you're somebody who, who you know, you feel alone or you feel lonely, God wants that for you. But if it's you establishing it, you don't know how to establish it right. So when you ask the Lord to be inside and you ask the Lord to have His way and you ask the Lord to be the permeating light of your life, then He's going to provide everything that's good for you. It was God. God is the one who came up with it, you know something but, but pleasant to man. Mm-hmm. And so that's that's really what I meant. It's not that God doesn't want you to have things. It's that you'll have everything as soon, when you have Jesus, and that He'll provide everything else along the way. Amen. Amen. Anybody that anybody that's sitting there that has an addiction, yeah, to anything. When Peter and John went in the temple, a beggar looked up at them, expecting to receive something, and they said, "Look on us." said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give out of thee in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth rise up. He rose up and went walking and leaping and praising God. If you're under an addiction, oppression, something you can't quit, then look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I break the addiction. Amen. I break the hold of that power over you. Amen. And I, I destroy the works of Satan works in your life. And I impart life and hope and faith and deliverance and peace in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth peace. unto the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 Believe God and take it and run. Because it's absolute, my friend. It's the will of God. We're just here to establish the will of God. Amen. And His will is good for you. So God bless you this, this evening. Until we see you again, look forward to it. God bless.